All right. Carlisle, Pennsylvania, also known as Mount Holly. Um, 70 degrees outside. It is 11.25. Told me to pull into bay at 11. Put her in here. We'll be back. We're going to lunch. They got to eat. They've been going since uh, about 6 this morning, I think. 6.37. Anyhow. Uh, I got some heavy packs. Uh, 9 instead of 11. 39,000, 40,000 pounds. So it's... Uh, that's why I asked him, he said, uh, I said, there gotta be some 12 or 14 pack lights on there, you know, uh, 14 packs. The packs have 12 or 14 lights in them. It's just like anything else. If you take, you know, five pencils and you add five to it, it weighs more. So that's the way it works. You get you get them in even numbers. Um, that's how you can always tell if you get short of the light. In other words, they say, hey, we put 14 lights on your trailer and if you happen to count and you got 13, well, they shorted your light, they need to correct the DOL. Um, but I got some uh, 10 mil, 5 mil, 4 mil, 14 lights. That's why I got 40,000 out of nine packs. Um, we're gonna get loaded. Like I said, I didn't figure to get out of here till two o'clock. Um, rained like a dog last night. Uh, problem is I couldn't hear it. I shut the truck off, you know, um, cause it wasn't that, wasn't that warm. And the, white, the side windows on this International, they, they go out. Um, that open sideways they open they open out so the rain just runs off but the guy next to me had an APU running so I couldn't hear it rain anyhow so I was hoping to just sleep in the rain other than that nothing else going on um sucky part is the later I get out of here the more than later I get to Columbus due to construction and traffic but anything in the world I can do about it it's uh six hours 37 minutes over there which is a lie um because of traffic it's going to be close to eight hours uh, by the time I get over there probably. I ain't nothing to do but roll. Other than that, we're ready to go. Got my Ohio State Buckeye shirt on. Don't even know how they did this weekend or last weekend. I just, I've been elsewhere. But I did see the Cincinnati Bearcats whomped on Notre Dame. Unreal. I, I, Notre Dame was less ranked. They were like ninth. Uh, Bearcats were seventh. Did you go back five, six, seven years ago? Everybody's like, who in the heck's the Cincinnati Bearcats? They did pretty good in that in that game, and they beat them going away. It wasn't it wasn't a gimme. They uh, they whomped on them. So, want to let you know what's going on. Well, it's still Monday, 8:34 at night. Uh, the Eagle has landed. Um, took me uh, nine hours and seven minutes. Yeah, six hour. I'm sorry. Take that back. I had eight hour clock. Uh, six it took me uh, seven hours and six minutes. It's supposed to be six hours thirty seven minutes. So it wasn't too bad. Uh, traffic was not bad at all. I did have a um, hard break. The glass slid. I thought I had a video of it when I looked. My video, my dash cam was off when I looked, and it had come unplugged from the um, twelve volt supply, so it shut off. Basically, uh, coming into one of them tunnels, they're doing maintenance, so they got it down to one lane. And I'm behind a semi truck, and I'm he's pulling forward, and I pull forward, and I slow down. This car shoots in there, barely enough room for the car. Matter of fact, the car is sideways, so I go to touch the brakes. The truck beats me to it, it just slams on the brakes instead of easing on the brakes, and all the glass slid forward. Um, smash the cardboard. Uh, really tightened up the stop blocks um, I mean as soon as that happened uh, she pulled up a little bit um, I wish she had her window down um, it's just pure inconsideration I was gonna let her in she had her turn signal I was gonna let her in but she come up there and jagged in before I could leave ample space treat me in the next truck so her her life is worth about the 10 15 seconds it would take me to get by and either she followed in behind me or i let her in in front of me but she had to shoot in before i even had a chance to let her in and it the truck reacted um truck did what it was supposed to do um but she's just too stupid and way a lot of these i mean i'll just put it straight out there 
these motorists don't give two rats asses. They don't understand what you got in the back. They don't understand you weigh 80,000 pounds or whatever, They or they don't care. What they're doing at the moment is more important than what you could possibly ever be doing. So as soon as she pulled up, I didn't have no choice. I had to go to the emergency lane, put the four ways on, went into my ELD, put an inspection that I was doing an inspection, went back, checked all my glass, it had all slid forward and it all smashed the cardboard. I will try to show you that in the morning, being that it's uh, 8.30 at night, I will have to be up at 5 a.m. ish. Uh, I'm going to bed. But um, yeah, we had another driver, he, um, he had the same issue happen to him. It was caught on the video recorder. Um, the, the glass physically broke, fell through the side of the trailer, landed on the road, just ripped the trailer all to shreds, busted the stop blocks. And when they went into his ELD and looked, he was doing about nine and a half mile an hour. I think they said 937, I don't know. Nine and a half mile an hour. Um, and I wasn't even doing that. I was probably going walking speed. But this thing just just stopped. The brakes just jammed on. Uh, because the truck don't know what you're doing, you know. Uh, and I was already on the brake. Um, but I wasn't going to brake hard like that. I didn't need to, but it thought I did. So, um, didn't break any glass that I saw. No, when I get it off for sure in the morning. Um, I did let the FM know I had a hard brake because it's going to show up on the video. I'm sure. I don't know. I don't know what's working in this truck or not as far as these video machines go, uh, what they're recording. Sad part is I didn't have it on mine. Uh, I didn't realize it come unplugged. Probably wouldn't have done anything about it anyhow because I was driving. Um, but we'll have to do a fix on that. We can't We can't have that. Got to make sure it stays plugged in. That's all I got. I'm tired. I'm done. All right, I want to show real quick the difference. I'm getting rid of this piece because it's been smashed. Um, high density styrofoam, that's this. This is the low density styrofoam we use for stuffing. And there's really no difference, they're not marked. Um, see how fine packed and small the beads are, how big the beads are. And then when you go to break it, it easily snaps with your hand. But with this one, you can see, putting some bend on it finally snaps of course it snapped where it was crushed but you can use this for your stop blocks but you want to try to avoid it you want to try to keep the high density styrofoam or the cardboard I prefer the styrofoam over the cardboard um, but you know you use what you got there if I had to use the low density I'd put two pieces in there because you can see I can just smash it really easy with my fingers this one I mean, I, if I dig the edge, I can, but it's it's a lot a lot harder styrofoam. All right, here's a quick view of the load. It's 96 130 glass. This is 96 108, I believe. All this is back here. Got a load of mirrors on the other side. One hundred eight, one forty-four. Got a load of mirrors right here. That's the back of the mirror. They turned on backwards. Set up. They set up it backwards. Um, I, and they intentionally spun them, I believe, because you could damage this coating on the cardboard. Now it's no longer a mirror. It just turned into a window. Then I got a ninety-six one thirty. It's eight millimeter. These are tens. You can see how thick this glass is. Those over there are fives. So I stuffed all that side. I didn't stuff any of this side. It rode pretty good considering I had a hard break. I got a few lights that have moved, but not nearly, not nearly an issue.